Guys, welcome back to the Phoebe way. If this is your first time, my name is Phoebe. And on this channel, we talk about life in Germany, settling within Germany, working in Germany, everything life in Germany that concerns... <coughs> the camera just dropped. That concerns you as an African, as a foreigner living in Germany, this is the right place for you to be. So if you have not yet shared this video, please do because we're going to share it today. From the, as you can tell from the title as well, the new changes, the legal updates, life in Germany for you. So this video, as always, is our traditional monthly legal updates, changes that concern you as a foreigner living in Germany. Watch till the end of this video because we'll be talking about the new things or the updates on the new um, citizenship law or the new, yeah, yeah, the new passports for those who want to naturalize in Germany. We're going to talk about what, how it's looking like now and what is the current situation. Okay, good. I hope your first half of October was good. Mine was good. That is why you've not seen me yet. <laughs> I've been booked and busy and having a great time and I hope that October brings you good things, positive things. All right. Now, First thing, new changes this month is that the time is going to change to winter time. So from the 20, let me check and before I say the wrong thing, according to our calendar. Yes. Yeah, so from the 28th to 29th of October. So the Saturday to the Sunday, right? The time is going to be from 2.59 is going to go to 3 a.m. And then from 3.59 it's going to back to 3 a.m. again. So you have one hour longer sleep. So you have to let so you have to know that now we are back one hour. The summertime has ended. So you should be aware of that. Okay. So if you have any analog clocks that you have to set, do that by the last Sunday of October. Apart from that, there are new corona rules, or the corona rules are going to be permanent, but it depends on which states you live in because the federal states have the liberty to impose whatever laws when it comes to corona, whatever laws they would want to impose in their state. So it could be that in Hamburg, you have to wear the, the mask and in Sugat, you don't have to or something like that. So whatever, the you have to check what your state is saying. For example, you have to go to the hospital and all of that. Check those out. Also, the school kids in Nordrhein-Westfalen, also the school kids in Nordrhein-Westfalen and Baden-Württemberg are due for another school break. So the kids in Baden-Württemberg, in my state, for example, they are due for Herbstferien the last week of October. I think the dates are, yeah, so from the 3rd of October till November 3rd, they are out of, week, out of school for one week. And then the kids in Nordrhein-Westfalen, they are out of school for two weeks from the 16th of October. So actually from today, Monday, to the 27th of October. Apart from that, all the other kids are going to be staying in school. Also, the cost of gas is supposed to go down. But this is relevant for people who are new customers. So, so two surcharges that we have been paying have been set to zero, meaning that those surcharges, we don't have to pay them anymore. But if you're an old customer, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really benefit from this except you're a new customer. So this is the time for you to start looking for a new provider. Also, one relevant thing for workers is that, or anybody who is going, like it's winter time, everybody's going to be having the flu and all of that. That corona time we're allowed to make place a call to the hospital i mean to the during corona we're allowed to just place a call to the doctor describe our symptoms and then the doctor will then give us a sick leave a sick leave note right now we can we can do that it is a permanent law so if you are sick you just call the doctor and the doctor will let you know what you have so you don't have to actually walk and drag yourself to the doctor's office for the doctor to give you the sick leave okay Apart from the weather changing from summer to winter within a weekend. So Friday was warm. Today it's free. Like this is my winter jacket. I'm wearing it. <laughs> but apart from that, um, we don't have much happening. Different, different kinds of things are happening. But to put everything in a video is going to be difficult. So I'm going to put some of the updates 
on our website, on our blog, being www.thephoebeway.de. So please check that out. And let me just give you the updates on the law for um, the new citizenship update. So before, so before the 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 summer break, so before the summer break, the Bundestag had done their own. Um, approval and it was supposed to go to Bundesrat. It wasn't sure, it's still not sure whether the Bundesrat has to approve the law or not, right? And even if they have to approve and they don't, um, the Bundestag can still overturn that, you know? So that is not really a problem. Um, the reason, one of the reasons that speak for the non-necessity for their approval will be that this doesn't, this doesn't directly affect the German constitution significantly. It doesn't affect the federal states like the region's um, finances significantly. So I doubt that they would need a Bundesrat approval, but even if they did, there's still a way out. So that's what I'm saying. It's, it's not really much. But after that, um, one of the MPs, I think his name started with a D, I've forgotten, but he said that they are looking forward to having the... Bundesrat um, appointment, I believe, by 20th of October. So actually end of this week. But whatever happens, I'll bring you the update. And after that, um, that's been passed through the Bundestag. I mean, the Bundesrat, it has to go to the Bundestag for the reading. So normally it's three readings. The first one, the second one, where they'll debate and everything. And that is um, being anticipated by, I think, 9th or 10th of November. So that is the update so if the law goes through by the end of this year um it still has to be implemented by the federal regions and this like the independent um states it still has to be approved but it still has to be implemented by the states right so the state of baden württemberg would have to implement it and all of that currently if you are applying for a german passport you 